Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 14th, I do believe, 2021. Your topic for today is statistics again. It's still statistics in our unit. It is topic four, lesson four, advantages and disadvantages of central tendency. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is the concept of mean. Now, mean can also mean average. When you figure out the mean, you're taking your data set, you're going to add it all together for all the numbers that are there, and divide by the total numbers, the total number of pieces in that data set. Now, the advantages is it's useful for describing data if the data has no outliers. In other words, the data set has no extremely high, extremely low data points compared to the rest of the data. The disadvantage is that it often does not represent a typical outcome as it can be affected by what we call outliers, the values that are extremely high, extremely low. Then we have mode. Mode is, for an advantage from mode, extremely high, extremely lower values usually do not affect the mode unless these values are, are the mode. The mode is the item that appears most frequently, which is usually useful in nominal data. This is data that does not consist of numerical values. For example, popular baby names, or video games, or the votes during an election. The mode is usually quick and easy to find. Mode is basically how many times you see a specific thing appear. Uh, I really, it's an easy one to figure out, so I'm really not gonna get too detailed in explaining that. The disadvantage of mode is that it could be very far from the middle of the data and therefore given an accurate, inaccurate representation of the data. The mode does not exist if no value appears more than once. Mode, pretty much my way of describing it. It's easy to find. Whether or not you can see multiple numbers appear, then that becomes the mode. You see that. Whether or not you see multiple modes, it can occur. It's up to you whether what the data set has for information. A larger data set might allow you to find multiple modes. Median. Median. Think of median as the middle number in a values in a data set, the middle value number. That is your median. Now the, the actual handout says an advantage for median. The median is useful when describing typical or the usual values, such as the house price or car vehicle price. Outliers have little to no effect on the median. The disadvantage is it can be time consuming to arrange all the numbers in a large data set. It really can be. I've been giving you smaller data sets, but some of the larger assignments and the, within those larger assignments, the data sets can be quite large. 40 or 50 pieces of data to rearrange from smallest to the largest takes time. It does, it does take time. The other disadvantage is, is if the gap between values is either very large or very small, the median can be an inaccurate represent, representation of the data. Median, for me, depends on size of data, also known as your data set. Trimmed mean. Now, not just trimmed mean, but this 10% trimmed mean. The advantage of a 10% trimmed mean was, that it's basically, without reading from the handout, my thinking of the advantage would be, you take the lowest outlier value, you take the highest, out, out, the highest outlier value, you get rid of them. Then you recalculate your mean appropriately. Trimmed mean advantage. The trimmed mean is usually resistant to outliers. It is useful for data with skewed values. The trimmed mean gives a reasonable estimate of the center of the data. Disadvantage of trimmed mean? If there, are significantly, if there is a significant number of outliers, such as more than the 5% in any given direction, the calculation of the trimmed mean may still include outliers. But I do think it makes it easier when you have outliers that are messing with your mean. You take away your upper value and lower value, you get your proper trimmed mean. So basically a little hint for that. Remove outliers, upper and lower. Now here is the weighted mean.
The weighted mean has an advantage. It actually has three of them. It is useful when each individual data value represents multiple people. It is useful when a sample over-represents or under-represents certain parts of the population. And it is useful when some values in your data are less accurate. A disadvantage is the weighted mean can be biased if arbitrary weights are given to the data. As a teacher, weighted mean for me it allows your data to be somewhat balanced. Somewhat. Not perfectly, but somewhat. Sometimes you'll have to find out what works for you as a teacher when you want to put weights to your categories for your assignments so that your, your, your data isn't skewed towards one specific uh, category. Now, the small assignment for this chapter, topic four, lesson four, I keep on saying chapter, is give me some definitions of the mode, the median, the mean, trimmed mean, and the weighted mean.